So this is Iron Menace. This is for the tilted loop or the corkscrew. That layout is pretty much halfway done. I just saw somebody posted a update on that coaster today and they do not have a lot of track on site. So I thought that was super interesting that it seems like there is a lot more track here. These are the only two tra track pieces that are actually painted orange. I don't know if there's more hidden inside because the warehouse there is huge. Then again, there are tons of other track segments outside that are, haven't been painted yet or haven't even been sanded. So I'm going to get to that a bit later. But yeah, this is Iron Menace, and I don't want to get that confused with any of the other track. It's hard to tell. So what you really have to look for here is the tra are the track codes. And this is a very key piece of information when analyzing BNM track. Most of the time, it'll be written on one side of the track segment. On this side of Iron Menace, you can't really see it's written there. But on this segment here, it says FI-D. And we already know which coaster this track is for. This is for Phoenix Rising down at Busch Gardens Tampa, the family inverted coaster. That's what the FI stands for. And the D stands for the fourth letter in the alphabet. So that means that this is the fourth B&M family coaster, which is confusing to me because if you look on RCDB, there have only been three B&M family coasters made. There's two in Asia and then this, Phoenix Rising. So what could be the fourth? Now, just because this has the letter track code D doesn't mean that it's built after C because this is going to be built before C because I have my theories on what FIC could be. Now, my thought is that FIC, Family Inverted Coaster C, is going to be the new Family Inverted Coaster going to Busch Gardens Williamsburg and that that coaster was actually designed before Phoenix Rising. So that's just my theory on that. And I know blueprints were just discovered for Busch Gardens Williamsburg's 2025 coaster just recently, so maybe my theory is correct. I don't know. We'll have to stay tuned for that. But most of the track in these photos is for Phoenix Rising. So there, this is track that has been sanded and it's waiting to be painted, uh, that blue color. But there is some track in the background. I do think that is for Iron Menace, though, because a lot of Iron Menace's track is not on site. Like, it's still missing the turn into the right run in the corkscrew, so it could also be that. But as you can see there, there's a number 12 there and a number 7 right beside the gray painted track. These are the element numbers for Phoenix Rising, so the track element numbers. So... Those are put there so that when they're being painted, they don't get mixed up with other track segments. And then after they're painted, they get rewritten on the track segment themselves. Now, what really interested me were these track segments right here. So these don't seem to be for Iron Menace nor Phoenix Rising. Phoenix Rising tends to have a track that uh, bends the other way. So these ones uh, bend so that the valley is underneath. These ones would look like they're at the bottom of a hill of a normal sit down coaster. Now what's really throwing me off are the spring painted numbers on the piece of track because they kind of line up with Phoenix Rising though but it's just so weird because they're shaped differently. Like look at this track segment right here. This looks like a Heartline Roland version. Like it's it's hard to tell but also that little sticker on that track segment there would give away so much. It would tell you I think what park that this track is going to so man I wish I could zoom on then on that but yeah, it was really throwing me off. And even if you put the two track segments side by side, the right being Phoenix Rising and the left being that unknown track segment, it's really hard to tell. So ignore the depth of the spine. So the depth of the spine uh, throughout BNM coasters changes depending on how much G-force that segment is going to receive. So on a higher G moment, the se track segment will be thicker, but the width of the track stays the same throughout the whole layout. But this makes things even more difficult because I've seen in other videos, I've counted bolts across, and the number of bolts across is the same for hyper coasters, wing coasters, inverted coasters. This is a family inverted coaster. It's really tricky to tell, guys. So if anybody has any other way of identifying track for different BNM coasters, please drop a comment down below or DM me on Instagram. It's Thrill Warrior. I'd love to hear any comments you guys have about these photos that I've received. Also, thank you to that anonymous source who has sent me these photos. I'm very grateful that I do not have to drive eight hours down to Ohio for this. So please let me know what your thoughts are on this and let me know what your thoughts are on Wonderland's coasters because it doesn't seem to be here. So where could it be? What could it be? Who knows, guys? Like I have my thoughts and theories on Wonderland's coaster. I'm going to film an update this week. 
So hopefully maybe I'll see something, but I think Wonderland's keeping a pretty tight wrap on this and not like they did for Yukon Striker. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the update hopefully this week. Take it easy, guys.